One of the most common questions I get is, Marcus, where do you get your copyright free songs, images, sound effects, overlays, etc., for your gaming videos? Well, the answer is mixed. I use a bunch of paid subscription software and I also use a bunch of free resources because you get what you pay for, right? Well, not necessarily. Personally, one of the main reasons I use paid software is because it's just so much more convenient to be able to find things. But if you're happy to dig around and have a look, um, there are plenty of free sites where you can find copyright free images, sound effects, songs, all that kind of good stuff. So. This video is going to go over all of my favorite sites for free copyright free media. Yes, yeah, so hopefully that will help you with resources and stuff for your videos. Quick side note before we do start, this video is actually a lesson from my new Grow Your Gaming Channel course. And this isn't supposed to be like a salesy video, so don't worry, I'm not gonna try and sell you stuff. But basically the course teaches people how to start gaming channels and create content, and if you are interested, there's a link down in the description, but no pressure. So in the following footage, if I am making re references to like lessons or modules or that kind of thing, you know why. Anyway, let's get into this and get ourselves some awesome copyright free media. One of the questions I'm most commonly asked by beginners all the way up to YouTubers who already have tens of thousands of subscribers is, Marcus, where do you get your copyright free media? In this lesson, I'm gonna show you exactly that. I'm gonna show you my favorite places to get copyright free audio, video, and images. There are so many different types of copyright, so I'm not gonna go over all of them because this isn't law school and it would get really confusing. I don't wanna complicate things, however, I will draw your attention to one specific type of copyright free content. It's the best one, it's the one we really like, and it's called Creative Commons Zero. Often abbreviated as CC0, we can do whatever we want with Creative Commons Zero Media. In fact, you can even sell Creative Commons Zero Media without crediting or asking the initial creator. So while browsing these copyright free sites, if you have a choice between using Creative Commons Zero Media and some other type of copyright free media, always go for the Creative Commons. So let's get into this lesson and I'll show you where you can find some awesome copyright free content. I just want to start this off with one paid program. All the rest of these are completely free, but if you do want to go for a paid program, I personally use this uh, and I really, really enjoy it and appreciate it. I'm not being sponsored by these guys, so it's completely up to you guys. It's called Epidemic Sound. You can go onto their library and they have a whole ton of sound effects and songs. I normally prefer to use their songs. I'm not big with their sound effects. However, um, if you want to use their sound effects, obviously you can go for that as well. They have some really professional music and really awesome ranges. And one of the best things I like is their filters. So although a lot of other sites have a lot of music, it's difficult finding the particular song you want. Whereas with Epidemic Sound, they make it really, really easy. Anyway, I'm going to move on and we're gonna start off by looking at photos. So I'm gonna show you how to find copyright free photos. Like I mentioned, I don't normally personally big on finding copyright free photos because I rarely have run into issues. However, if you wanna make sure that everything on your channel is 100% copyright free, then you have a couple of options. So the first is to go to Google Images, select Tools, uh, not Color, sorry, Usage Rights, and labeled for reuse with modification. You're gonna have a bunch of different images pop up that are theoretically copyright free and you can use and reuse them and modify them. So you, when you do find an image on here that you like, I recommend following it back to the site and making sure that it actually is copyright free because I've had a couple of uh, situations where they haven't been copyright free and somehow YouTube, uh, Google's just got them mixed up. But this is definitely a good place to start when you don't know 100% what exactly you're looking for. Next, I like this site called Pexels. Now Pexels is a site where you can find free photos. You just search for whatever you're looking for, whatever the genre is, and pictures from professional photographers will pop up and they're actually really high quality. Next, Unsplash, very similar to Pexels, just a different site. When I can't find what I want on Pexels, I'll go to Unsplash and then I'll go to the next site also, and that's Burst, and Burst is probably my favorite out of all of these. So if you only wanna to go to one site, check out Burst. Next is Pixabay. Pixabay, similar thing. I just like having a bunch of different sites, so if I can't find a certain image on one of them, I can go to another one. Next is Stock Video. So I don't find myself using a lot of Stock Video personally, but you might be. So Pixabay, they also have a video section. You can search for videos, and they have a bunch of free video uh, stock media and clips and all that kind of stuff that you can use copy, uh, copyright free. The next is Vimeo, I believe it, no, Vivo, sorry. Similar to the concept, uh, just different 
footage. Also have Pexels, they do the same thing, copyright free videos, and then Cover is our last one. Cover have some really professional videos, not as much range as some of the other sites I just mentioned, but they're always worth a check. Now we're getting into the audio. Now audio is super, super important. This is probably the most important, especially since you're a gaming creator and you've probably already got a lot of stock footage from video games. First, we're gonna look at music. I like to get music from the YouTube Creator Studio, Creator Library, sorry. So you can come into here, go into your channel, go YouTube Studio Beta, come down and go into the Studio Classic. We're gonna come down to Create and audio library. We now have a whole bunch of different songs and we have different filters that we can search by. Surprisingly, YouTube actually have quite a good library now. If you're looking for sound effects, I definitely recommend trying Sound Bible before anything else. Finally, when we come back to music, there is no copyright sounds. No copyright sounds are a music publisher, I believe. All of their songs and are copyright free. So there are Creative Commons Attribution 3, I believe, which means you can use the song however you want in the video. You just need to make sure you've credited the owner in the description. And to make sure you credit the owner correctly, all you have to do is find the song that you're using from their site, come into the description, and down the bottom they'll have, when you're using this track, we simply ask that you put this in your description. So this little paragraph here, just copy it and paste it into the description of the video that has this song in it. It's literally that simple. So those are all of the sites or all of the resources that I use to acquire copyright free media. There's a whole bunch of things here. I'd recommend bookmarking them and whenever you have an idea for something, have an idea for a video or a certain clip, between all of the different sites I've shared here, you should be able to find something that is at least similar to what you had in mind.